You've got to forgive in order for you to move forward in your own life, no matter whether you're ready to, no matter whether they've hurt you once, twice, three times, or no matter whether or not they care. So for you to even be on this video, like thumbs up to you, thumbs up to you for trying to forgive somebody. I'm gonna just keep it real with you guys. It is so hard to forgive someone, especially when you still have to interact with this person. You may share a chat with them. They may be a family member. They may be a close friend or just someone that's in your inner circle, whatever it is. It is so hard and can be difficult to forgive somebody, but it's so important for you to honestly be in those moments, to embrace that pain that comes with you being able to forgive them. And you may be thinking, why would I wanna embrace the pain and the hurt? That's only gonna piss me off. It's gonna have me ready to fight. It's gonna have me ready to go off on somebody. So honestly, I don't wanna embrace it. I wanna pretend like it never happened. But the truth is, you kind of have to. In order for you to kind of grow and even become a better person, you've got to embrace those moments because those are the moments that are going to help you grow. Those are your experiences. In the world that we live in, there are good people, there are bad people. There's good experiences and there's bad experiences. And that's okay. But with those bad experiences, those are learning experiences. So these are opportunities for us to learn from them. When we move forward in our life, it will help us decide what type of people we want to surround ourselves with, what type of environment we want to be in, or just simply red flags or the things that we're not going to settle for, period. So we got to embrace these moments and embracing them is a part of the process. It's a part of your healing process and it is going to take you to the next level. So go ahead and embrace these moments. This is a part of the process of being able to forgive that person, that situation, whatever it may be that is holding you back from complete greatness. So embrace it. Embrace it, you guys. Forgiveness is a process, y'all. What did, what did Nipsey say? It's a marathon. It's a marathon. It's going to take time. You've got to take the focus off of that situation or simply that person because honestly, you're trying to forgive somebody. So take the focus off of them and put it back on you. Put it back on you and be present in that moment. Understand that nobody is going to dim your light. Not at all. They may have dimmed it because mine's been dimmed a few times, but they're not going to dim it anymore. They're, they're not going to and you're going to put the focus on you because at the end of the day, this is a part of your healing process. You can be angry, upset, ready to go off, ready to fight somebody, but at the end of the day, that person that you're having a difficult time forgiving, as we know, they're just still living their life as if nothing happened. So honestly, it's on you anyways. Be selfish with you. Understand that, hey, I may have cussed you out. I may have not talk to you for a long time. I may have shut you out. I may have said some things that I shouldn't have said because I let you get me out of character, which I'm no longer going to do, but I'm going to learn from that. And that's okay. I understand that forgiving somebody is a process. It's going to take a little time. And at the end of the day, forgiving someone is not forgetting what has happened to you. Let's, you know, let's understand that because forgiving somebody you want to be able to forgive for yourself so that you can move on and walk into your own blessings because honestly you're only holding yourself back and I've learned that so forgiveness is for you but forgetting is for both of you because best believe you may have to still surround yourself around this person around these group of people it may be your work environment it may be an ex it may be an ex-husband it may be an ex-boyfriend you share a child together it may be a friend a mutual friend whatever the case is you still have to surround yourself around them so in you forgiving them you're saying hey i'm letting go of what may have happened in the past now, I did not forget what has happened in the past, so let's not get it twisted, but when I am around you, I will still keep my head high. I will let my light shine because I am fabulous, all that, independent, whatever, got my own bag, whatever it is that hypes you up when you walk into a room, whether you need to put on a beat face, you need to do your hair, you need to put on your best outfit, whatever it is. When you walk into a room, you still hold your head high. You say hi to that person, you acknowledge that person, but you also give them that look like, look, I don't deal with you like that. But I'm gonna still keep it respectful because this is your life moving forward. We're in the present now. We can't 
go back and be stuck in those moments because honestly you're just kind of ruining your own life in a sense so you've kind of got to let go and fast forward and be like look I'm still standing and I'm going to still stand because I've forgiven you but I have not forgotten have you guys ever been in a situation and you constantly ask yourself why or I don't understand I know that I do that a lot where I'll say I don't understand I don't understand why Sally did this to me it really hurt my feelings or why Sally would think that I would never find out whatever the case is and sometimes we've got to stop in those moments it's a lot easier said than done and again it's a marathon it's not gonna happen overnight okay but to just understand that that's gonna only hold you back and you've got to let go of that resentment you gotta let go of it and then also just simply asking why or you don't understand well the thing is you're never going to understand because you're not them um, think about it if you are here you guys are here same level and this person just decides hey I'm gonna say I'm working on myself but they're not really they're continuing on with the same actions and you're still continuously being hurt by their actions and they're not able to acknowledge that they're hurting you they're still going through their own process but you've taken the time to really sit with yourself it may be dirty it may be grimy it may be difficult filled with a lot of tears a lot of tough times and a lot of days of just simply being like you don't want to hear from nobody but you're still moving up you're still learning you know there's days where you whoop, you come back down but you're still moving and you're doing this so when you're kind of up here and they're still down here doing the same stuff the same hurtful stuff when you're saying I don't understand or why me blah 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 you're never going to understand you're two different type of people and you're on two different levels you may be you may have decided to say hey I was in a relationship that ain't for me at this moment I want to focus on myself I want to grow my relationship with God I want to grow my relationship spiritually or I want to learn a law of attraction manifestation whatever that is whatever you're into you decided to take that route and this person has decided to take a different route obviously you aren't growing in the same way you just aren't so you're never going to understand their actions you're not and at the end of the day we also have to acknowledge what we have done because we're not perfect either nobody's perfect but at the same time you're just not gonna understand and they're probably not gonna understand your actions either and that's okay but we've got to let go of that idea of trying to understand because it's not gonna get you anywhere and it's honestly just gonna hold up your process of flourishing and walking into your own blessing so let it go you're not gonna understand forgiveness and anger also don't mix you guys so if you are really hurt really angry still kind of feeling that pain just understand that when you say you're gonna forgive somebody you've really got to let go of that because the anger and the forgiveness don't mix we can hold ourselves accountable for our actions we control our actions but we can't control how we feel so say I don't know we'll just John Doe John Doe cheated on you in the past and you guys share a child together and moving forward you may still feel some type of way about that every time you got to see John Doe's face every time you you get triggered like Janae's song you get triggered and you just kind of shut down and you get angry in those moments I still deal with it but sometimes we got to just really breathe and understand that okay so in this moment I can say hi keep it pushing and a half smile whatever it is that I need to do or I can kind of have a bad attitude and feel some type of way and bring negative energy into the situation if it's unneeded or they might trigger you by saying something crazy to you and automatically you you're ready to go you're you're ready to fight with your words or whatever it is it's so important when we're saying that we're forgiving someone that we try to control our actions try and I'm not saying that I'm perfect because I'm not but We've got to try. We've got to start somewhere, right? And again, it's a marathon. So you may do great today and next week you may give it to them. Give it all to them. Whatever it is. But that's okay because it's a process and you're going to get better with time. The more you forgive, the more you start trying to be you no matter what they do to you, no matter what they say to you, no matter what they say about you when you are not in the room. You try to remain yourself when you come around. It's going to help you in your process of healing. 
Forget what they got going on. It's, it, this is about you, not them. So it's only going to help you. So we can't control how we feel, and that's okay. So when you get back home and you need a breather, you need a glass of wine, maybe a shot, maybe you need to go running, whatever the case is, to kind of let that stuff go, do that. But when you're in front of them, we've got a straight face, keep it smooth, whatever we need to do. Or simply, maybe they're not in your life anymore, which is a lot easier to deal with. And these steps will definitely help. But just trust the process, you guys, and understand that in those situations, ask yourself, will this continue the me going back and forth with this person? Will this do any good for me? Yeah, the answer is probably no. So just try to breathe in those moments and be like, look, look. I'm good off of this we don't need to do all this right now so I'm gonna go ahead and step away because I've already said too much and I know I have a mouth on me so I'm gonna walk away do whatever it is that you need to do because this is your healing process and baby we're trying to accept any and all blessings that come into our life all of them each and every we're trying to grab them all in 2020 because 2020 has been crazy you guys so don't let somebody from your past push you away from God's blessings over here. We're not gonna do that anymore. You can have that, you can have the old me because I'm about to flourish. Last but not least, this is more so a tip just for yourself and not necessarily how to forgive somebody, but in the process of your healing process and learning to forgive, you wanna protect your peace. Protect your peace is so important. Whether you have got to surround yourself around people or activities that no longer put you in that place or make you think of those situations that trigger you back to that person, you've got to do what you got to do. And I know it may sound hard. I know it may sound like, man, like, I don't want to have to do that. I know it does. Sometimes you might have mutual friends who are friends with that person who may have hurt you. And sometimes you've got to like dis detach yourself from, from those situations or those people because it might simply trigger you. That person hanging out with that person might affect you in some way. And it's not to hurt them in any way. It's just you've got to protect your peace. That's what matters. That's what matters in the end. You've got to grow. So in order for you to grow, you've got to pull pieces of your past have got to be lifted off of you so that you can breathe, so that you can heal, and so that you can be the best that you can possibly be. It doesn't mean that you are cutting people off for the rest of your life. It doesn't mean that. But at the end of the day, we only get one life. One. Just one that I know of. I mean, maybe, maybe we had a past life. I don't really know. But I know right now, this is the life that I'm living and you've got to protect your peace at all costs. You have to do what you have to do in order to heal yourself and understand that forgiving somebody is a part of the process. And forgiving yourself is a gift to you, a gift to you. Because when you're able to forgive, you're able to see a lot clearer, you're able to move forward, you're able to walk into blessings that you had no idea were waiting on the other side. But in order for you to get to the other side, it's kind of like you got to peel off pieces of your old self. All right, I'm going to grow. I'm going to acknowledge where I went wrong. And this person may have hurt me and still be hurting me, but I'm not going to let them change who I am. I know who I am. And they may say they know who they are too. Shoot, I don't know. But you know who you are. And at the end of the day, look, this is your life. So make sure you choose you, make sure you learn to let go, make sure you embrace those sad moments because it's a part of your journey, it's a part of your history, and without, you can't have a testimony without a test. Period. So remember that, you guys, and I'm gonna see you guys in another video because I'm gonna keep them coming, like, every week. So see you guys later.